this video will show how to use the solver uh, using Excel to solve linear programming method. To start with, we should enable the solver. You, all you have to do is, in case you can't see the solver by clicking on Data tab Solver, you have to go File, Options, Add In, okay, and Manage Excel Solver, Solver Add In and then add it to the system and OK here OK till it appears here as a solver so we have to solve this program this problem we need to buy a filing cabinet we have X cost ten dollars and Y it cost twenty dollars and we have the spacing requirement for both type of cabinets as well as uh, uh, volume capacity the storage volume capacity the objective is to maximize the volume capacity 8x plus 12y subject to the constraint 10x plus 20y uh, one less should be less than $140 and we have the space requirement and the question is we need to calculate the number of x and y we should purchase so let's start with our model we have here cabinet x cabinet y Okay, total <coughs> Okay, so I have here Decision variables Decision variables Okay, I'm gonna move this one here and contributions or storage which is my capacity capacity okay okay this is a variable the number of cabinet X and Y I should buy contribution or the storage capacity same as the objective so we have 8 which stands for X as so storage volume cubic feet and 12 for Y okay and the total as an equation total storage uh, volume saying f is equal to number of cabinet x I'm gonna buy times storage volume plus number of cabinet y I'm gonna buy times storage volume for example if I buy one of each I should end up with 20 cubic feet if I buy two of x I should end up with 28 Okay, I'm gonna leave those value blank and I want the system to calculate those value so let's consider the constraint I have two constraint as cost as expenses and and space requirement okay so cost <coughs> excuse me so cost as it is I have here uh, 10 for X and 20 for Y Y for the space requirement is 6 for uh, cabinet X and 8 square feet and all this information is written as a given for cabinet Y okay so let's do the calculation for this one as well so number of file cabinet X cost times number to buy plus 20 which is square uh, dollars for cabinet Y times number of Y to buy as well as same applies for this one n times the space requirement plus number of cabinet Y that we should buy times the space requirement Okay, so this is the total. Again, we can test it. If we say we buy one of each, we should end up with thirty dollars for the cost and fourteen for the square feet. Okay, we should here introduce a new cell, which is the maximum capacity. Capacities. Okay, so we have here maximum capacities. We have here one hundred forty 
for the cost, maximum we could spend, and 72 square feet for the values we have. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna delete this and let the program to calculate those values for me. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna do a little bit of decoration. Border. Okay. So now we click go to data. We click on the solver. Okay. The set objective. We go to data. We click on the solver with a set objective, which is the target cell, is this one, which is the total cost we have, the total storage excuse me the total storage capacity which is the objective function okay N we are maximizing example we are maximizing the objective we could consider minimizing the objective we changing the variable cell which is the number of cabinets we have both of them and we're gonna add constraint we have two constraint in our example we have two constraints. The first one is cell reference. This one should be less or equal. We could consider equal, consider greater or equal, integer binary. Then the constraint, the total we have is 140. Okay. Add and another one. Uh, uh, space requirement is less than maximum available. And they are okay for both of them. We click on option, we assume this is a linear programming model and the model is integer non we leave this for a while, we just now we're focusing on the linear programming model. Okay, and we say okay for this and solve. Okay, so once we solve the program the problem as it is, keep solver solution, restore original value. So we say okay for our example and we get the result at the end 8 for the filing cabinet y3 and the solution is 100 and depend on the cost and the requirement we have used all the money for cost and we use all the space requirement if you buy 8 of x and 3 of y okay and another video i'm going to consider how to do sensitivity analysis and how to do simplex method using linear programming